Hey everybody, it's Joe from HomestudioCorner.com, and today I'm going to bring you a real quick Mac tip for all you Apple users out there. Now this may or may not work on a PC, I honestly don't know, so uh, you PC users should let me know. I've got a session here in Pro Tools, and it's about an hour and a half long, and the only thing you need for this tip is a scroll wheel. The issue with longer sessions, or if you're zoomed in pretty closely, is that you can do everything you want to do, make your selection, but then if you want to move left or right, you can use your scroll wheel, but that only goes up and down. And if you want to go left and right, you've either got to come over here and click on the little arrow, you know, move slowly back and forth, you can click on the bar, it'll take you left and right, or you can zoom out and then click on a space further down the timeline and zoom back in. Now all of those are fine, there's nothing wrong with them, but I found that if you hold down shift and use the scroll wheel, it'll move you left and right. So hold down shift and you scroll down, it moves you to the right, and if you scroll up, it moves you back to the left. Now this is no huge tip, but it was a real time saver for me. When you're editing those long sessions, you're going through a vocal or a drum track and you know tweaking things here and there, especially if you're zoomed in like this. I mean, it's almost impossible to know where you are. Just a little scroll to the left and right lets you find that next section you're looking for. So that was hugely helpful for me. Now this isn't just a Pro Tools specific uh, feature. Uh, it's basically just on anything on the Mac. So if you go over to something like Safari, and you hold down shift and scroll, it'll do the exact same thing. You scroll left and right, up and down. And unless you have a Mighty Mouse from Apple, which has the wheel that lets you scroll up and down and sideways and diagonal, which if you're like me and you only have a regular scroll wheel, then you can use this and it might be very helpful. All right, if you have any questions or if you know if this works on a PC, leave a comment. And if you're watching this on YouTube, head back over to my website, homestudiocorner.com. I'd uh, love to see you. We'll see you next time. Thanks.